بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو انگلش کلاس آئی ایم آنو حسین اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر لائنس اسکلن کالج آف ڈیر اسٹوڈینٹس ان مائی پریویس کلاس آئی ڈیلیورڈ مائی اسپیس آن ٹو پوئمس ڈریم پوئمس اینڈ آئی ٹو ڈو دیٹ ایپلٹیو One point, dear students, all people dreams, but all dreams are not the same. Some people dreams in sleep. In the morning when they get up, they forget. According to boy, according to the poet, this kind of person is not a dangerous person. On the other hand, the people who dream with open eyes are dangerous people because they want to make the dream true by any means. Dear students, According to poets, such kind of people are dangerous people. Such kind of people are dangerous people because they may harm others to make their dream true. On the other hand, there is another poem. In this poem, the poet has, has given more importance on the dream. The poet says that without dream, no one can live in the world. Every man has a dream. Every man has a dream. Without dream, man, man cannot go ahead. Man cannot prosper in his life. I told you that. Suppose a student wants to go away in the examination, and after passing the examination, they want to get admitted into engineering, medical, or other universities. Then they want to obtain good result. After getting good result, they want to get a good job. And this is also a dream. And today I will today I will discuss another poem. The title of the poem is the school. The school boy by William Blake. By William Blake. Here I want to say something about the environment of the school. According to Rabindranath, a school or the school must have a learning friendly environment. Here he wants to say that the children, the students or the, the teachers, sorry, the teachers should be should be caring, should be kind, should be supportive and the children will learn through pleasure the children will learn through pleasure the children should not be scolded should not be insulted because when they are insulted they become very sad they cannot learn anything according to william blake according to william blake the environment must be friendly must be friendly and the children will feel relaxed will feel relaxed and this the poet the school boy here the poet William Blake introduces a boy he does not like to go to school but why but why he does not like the strict discipline of his school. That is why he wants to enjoy the beauty, the beauty of the morning, especially 
summer's morning. He does not like to go to school because the teacher are very strict. The teacher are very strict and the rule and regulation of the school is very strict. That is why he does not like to go to school. Rather, he wants to enjoy the beauty of nature. He wants to enjoy the beauty of nature. He says that, the poet says that, the classroom is like a case. The classroom is like a case. And the children are like birds. The poet says that, in a case, a bird cannot, a bird cannot sing, sing, sing happily. Because a bird is born to be free and he want to, it wants to uh, enjoy the beauty of nature, fly here and there, but he does not like to, like to be bent off in a case. This is the same way in the classroom. In the classroom, the children, the children do not like to be spent for a long time. Let me spend for a long time. That is why, that is why the poet, the poet says that the environment of the school should be, should be congenial to them. And the children will not feel fulfill going, rather they will learn through pleasure. They will learn through pleasure. That is why the teacher should be kind caring, supportive, helpful, and, and, and loving. Dear students, you should read the poem, recite the poem at home. You should recite the poem at home and try to understand the meaning. In the next class, I will, I will discuss line by line of the poem. I hope that you will be able to understand. Dear students, here I want to say that, here I want to say that, use the, use the, uh, make the best, best use of your time. Make the best use of your time, because time is very, very, very valuable. And your main duty is to study, study, study and study. You have to study in time, you have to eat in time, play in time, and exercise in time. Dear student, that is why I want to advise you that. And you should, you should not spend your time idly. Rather, you have to make the best use, best use of your time. Stay at home. Stay at home. Help your uh, parents or the members of the family, other members of the family and study well and stay at home, save yourself and keep free from thought. You should be free from thought. I hope that you will be able to do well in the examination. If you make the best use of your time, I hope that you will be able to do well in the examination and in your practical life. Dear students, in my next class, I will deliver my speech on the poem, The School Boy. I will discuss one by one, one line by line, to make you understand well. I hope that you will be able to understand me well. Here I want to finish my short speech here. Thanks all.